So before I start, I want to tell you that um, there's a mistake in her bio, and it's something I pulled down from the PAC website. And so, Mrs. Joanne Tony Burrow, we call her Tony affectionately, said, well, what are you doing on the website anyway? <laughs> and I said, I know there's more stuff about you that you didn't put in your bio, so I was getting it from the website. So there is a mistake, and you have to find it. <laughs> Tony is the executive director of the PACT Community Resource Center, and this is a nonprofit, so nonprofit human social services corporation that is supported by congregations in North St. Louis County. And its purpose, and you'll read that there in the first paragraph, is to address the material, health, educational, recreational, multicultural, and spiritual enrichment needs of underserved and low-income individuals and families. And you can read on the many things that they provide, including emergency rent, utility assistance, food pantry. They refer health screenings for the elderly, after school homework and tutoring, sports recreation, cultural enrichment, self esteem building, and a toy distribution at Christmas. And I've had the pleasure of getting a tour of the PACT Center when it was on um, North Florissant. And what amazed me about it was Tony's ability to network all kinds of people together to help the children and to keep the center going. And she talks about that in the second paragraph. Her expertise is in strategic planning and networking collaborative alliances and partnerships. Amen. It is her, it is her strength and expertise. Look at some of the various agencies that she's been able to collaborate together to support the underserved individuals in North St. Louis County, including the Metropolitan Family Court of St. Louis County Community Service Restitution Program, the Missouri Probation and Parole Board, or Missouri, whichever area of the state you're from, Missouri Probation and Parole Board Community Service Program, United Way Emergency Food and Shelter Program, AARP and MERS Goodwill Senior Work Reentry Program. And what she's also doing is they're helping work, is she's training them. So she's got layers upon layers of things going here. Um, also, the UMSL Volunteer Program, the Ferguson Florissant School District Homeless Program, the Ministerial Alliances of North County, and the Florissant Valley Kiwanis all of them collaborating for the good of the people in North St. Louis County. It's amazing. One of the things that Tony says is what she does best is to bring together people for one common goal, and that is to fill the needs of God's people. So I'd like to, um, before I present her with the award, ask her family and her packed board to please stand and help us recognize this is Joanne Tony Burrow. Tony, NCCU is proud to present you with the Community Service Award for your work to pr promote racial harmony and social justice through PAC programming and through your consulting work. opening the service, preaching the word, or giving the benediction. So it actually leads me to say, praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. As I look around this room and I recognize the people of God for who you are in the church, I am serious when I say, praise the Lord, saints. I don't know how she got on that internet, because I'm downloading a new program on the web tomorrow because of her. <laughs> But humble is as humble does, and I do appreciate this award. Um, when I called Dr. Thompson to say, what's the format, of, what, what's the venue, what, what's the time frame? And every time I asked her a question, she said, not quite. I said, well, is it like the Academy Awards? She said, yes. I said, okay, fine, I'm good. <laughs> I hung up. But I believe 
and team. And I appreciate this award. I think it's, it's, it's a great thing to do to recognize people for what they do. But I want to talk about the team. And most of you probably would think if I said something about the team that it's about the PAC board. That's not the team. Even though I appreciate what the PAC board does, and I'm grateful for them being there to lead me where I need to go, to help me when I need some decisions made, they're not the whole team. The team, if you were to use it as an acronym, T period, E period, A period, M period, together, everyone accomplishes more, that's the team. That would be some of you sitting out here individually. Those people that come along, I got a lady that sends me $10 every month. That $10, when you add it up, it pays for somebody's electricity. She's part of the team. When I talked to Boeing and I said, I need $50,000 to send 65 kids to the summer program, they didn't sell, tell me yes, but they didn't tell me no either. I'm looking for a $50,000 check. Part of the team. When I called out to the family court and I said, you know, I got this kid and I'm trying to work with him, but I need somebody else. I need, I need a preacher. I, I need a counselor to help this kid understand where he's going to go in life. They send me somebody, part of the team. My team is not, if I were to just label them all, it's not an exhaustive list. But they're part of the team. They're partnerships. When we talk about the collaborations and all of those churches that come along and send in support money, I'm going to tell you something. Without the congregations financially supporting PAC, there would be no PAC part of the team, the collaborations. We have over 1,400 volunteers for a little bitty tiny organization, but we need them because guess what? We're 100% volunteer and packed. Nobody gets a paycheck. But what we give and what we give back for it is those kids and that will never have the opportunity to enjoy some of the things that they give because PACT is there. So that is the team, but not an exhaustive list. I, I, I want to tell you about some days do I love my job? I do. Some days do I not love that job? I do not love that job. I'm retired. I'd like to, when someone is not get up, I like to kid around and say, I work half days. That's not four hours, that's 12 hours. And so we, we do it all, but I, I just want to tell you that I appreciate NCCU for being where they are because they help us to realize that there are people out there that need in CCU. There are people out there who need to know about justice, about equality, about what we can do to bring us all into diversity for real. And so that's what they do. So I'd like to say thank you for this, but I'd like for you to thank the team. Don't forget to include yourself because you're part of our team. Thank you.